Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the third level spray arm in your dishwasher. The reason why you might have to do this is because your dishes are still coming out dirty after a load. For this repair, we'll be using a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the dishwasher we're going to be using for this demonstration. It's a Whirlpool. Now keep in mind yours at home might be a little bit different than what we have here, but the same technique should still apply. Also keep in mind, we don't have a countertop for this, so we're actually using some weights to keep it weighted down so it doesn't tip over on us. So you might want to consider that when you're at home and if you have to take out your dishwasher, uh, make sure that you're not doing anything to tip it over and make it fall on you when you're doing a repair as well. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our dishwasher here. So we'll pull out our top dish rack here. And in order to get the dish rack off, we're going to have to take off the stoppers on the end here. So we'll just pull straight up on that and pull it out. And same thing on this side, we're going to pull straight up on the stopper and then pull it straight out. Now with the stoppers out of the way, you should be able to pull your dish rack straight out. Now we're going to have to detach the water supply tube from the top and from the back of the dishwasher here. So it's screwed in. Now that it's unscrewed, we can move the supply arm freely, like so. Now we can use a flathead screwdriver to pry up on the retainer here. And now we can take the spray arm off by pulling it right out. Now you can grab your new OEM replacement spray arm. If you don't have one already, you can find it on our online store. So now we'll reattach the spray arm to the water supply line. And we'll just push that straight in like that. And that should sit in there. And now we can put our retainer in. And that just snaps into place just like that. Now if your water supply assembly fell out of place, you can just put it back into the tube on the bottom here. It'll just slide in just like that. And we'll line up all the holes. And now we can screw it back in. And now we'll take our upper rack and we'll line up the wheels and get those inside of the track there and push that all the way back. We just want to make sure that both go inside. This one didn't. So we're going to try it one more time and slide it all the way back. So now we're going to slide our track out just a little bit again and we're going to put our stoppers back in place. go. So that'll stop the track from going out again. And now we can close up the door and your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, pcappliancerepair.com. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.